Good evening, YouTube. Zeno here with Nat Gaming. Another episode of Chillery. And, um, we're playing Team Objective. But, to be honest, I... I'm not even that focused on the game right now because I've been thinking a lot about something that maybe a lot of you guys have been thinking about. Um, I don't know. And, well, I'm just gonna out and say it. Honestly, I've been thinking of joining the military. I've been thinking of joining the military because... Well, I'm not doing anything with my life, and I want to do something with my life. Um, job market isn't exactly being very friendly to me right now. Um, I am qualified. I'm not going to go into my qualifications, but I am qualified, and I know how to write a resume. I just don't feel like the job market's there. I don't feel the economy's there, and I mean... My life is basically stagnating right now. So I was thinking of joining the military. Um, as a way in, or shall we say out, or up, whatever you want to call it. And I just, I was on YouTube today and I was just YouTubing different like military recruitment videos and stuff and I can deal with like boot camp, I can deal with people yelling at me, I'm okay with that stuff. I'm kind of an asshole myself, I'll be honest, so... I mean, it's not its not that big a deal to me. What I don't want is I don't want to be shipped off, shipped off to Iraq for like four years and not see Sazoli again for four years. And I know that like there's probably a lot of people out there thinking that I shouldn't join anyway um, because if you're not prepared to be deployed then you shouldn't be in the military. But honestly, looking at all the videos and all the research that I did today, I was researching for a good four hours or so. Realistically, the, the people that joined the military because of, you know, they believe in serving the country and they believe all this honorable stuff and it's all high and mighty. Well, I don't want to say that. I don't want to sound patronizing. But they, they join for their dedication to the service. Honestly... The people that join the military for that, um, I'm not saying that all military members aren't dedicated, but I'm just saying there's a whole bunch of people that join the military because of the benefits and because of the pay and because of needing a change. And I feel like I'm one of those people, and I don't want to lie to anyone and say that I'm joining the military because I love the country and I'm going to die for the country and all that stuff, because really I'm not. I want to join the military as an average Joe who's going through some not so average times and I want to claw my way back up and hey if I can help the country out um, along the way then you know good for the country and good for me um, my question is and this may be directed to my non-viewing viewers right now because basically no one watches this channel but if and when I get YouTube famous Hopefully. My question is, would you want to see people like me in the military, and do you think it's fair to join the military, not based on this quote-unquote dedica dedication and patriotism to the American dream, but out of fiscal economic necessity? Do you think that's fair, and do you think that's realistic? Um, I don't know, and honestly, maybe time will give me more perspective. Um, but just doing my research today, almost all the people on YouTube that said they were joining the military, and maybe my YouTube searches are just giving me this, this little tiny segment of people want to join the military. But a lot of the people joined because they were saying, uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't really believe in this America stuff, but, I mean, the pay's great, they take care of you, and, I mean, you get to learn skills and leadership, and you get to use that, and after you get out, you can apply that to the civilian world, and it, it sounds like a great deal to me, I mean, it sounds like I could use that, and I was wondering if any current or serving members had any um, opinions, and if they would like to share that. 
Um, it's totally fine if you disagree with me and you believe that, you know, we're fighting for freedom and all that stuff. You know, I'm, I don't even want to turn this into a debate. I just want to know if the service could use someone like me. And if, I mean, if that's a realistic part of service life, I'd like to know about it. If there is a whole bunch of you military dudes out there who aren't in the military because you, like, believe in this freedom thing and, like, you know, oorah and all that, um, I mean, let me know. But on the other hand, if... Everyone in the military is all gung ho, ura, murka. Let's do it, um, American Eagle. You know what? I I honestly don't even have a problem with you guys. Just go ahead and tell me. And if that's seriously what you believe, and if you really, really feel strongly about it, and you think that military people should be in the military just for that reason, or maybe you have that opinion, but you also think that people like me can be in the military. Um, why don't you let me know? Because honestly, I don't know where to go. Um, I'm Asian, so none of my family have ever served or been in the military. I'm sort of like the first generation that can even speak fluent English over here. So I'll be honest. Uh, my family's a fob and, and, you know. So, um, other than that, I guess I'm just going to concentrate on killing these guys. Because I... I don't know what I've been doing, honestly, um, in the game. I'm still hawking, so I'm just going to try and kill these guys. And uh, hopefully you guys give me some opinions for me to think about. Because right now, I'm I'm kind of lost. I don't know where to go. And I'm looking for some additional information and some experiences that would help me make a better um, informed decision. And then look at it, look at it you know, from this way, too. I don't want to screw anyone in the military. I don't want to screw over the military. And I don't want to get screwed by the military. I want this to be productive for the military and for myself. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's military recruiters out there combing YouTube videos like mine, searching for them so that they can get into contact with people like me. If you're a military recruiter out there, I know there's... Uh, an office just a couple blocks down from my street and I fully intend on going to speak with them there. It's just, hey, if you guys have a YouTube channel for this stuff, if you guys want to <laughs> send me a video or comment or anything, um, it'd be awesome. Because I, I'll be honest, I've, and I know this is going out on a limb, I've, I've always just had disdain for war and combat and, um, destruction and no matter how many times they say that we're fighting for freedom I really don't believe that we're fighting for freedom um, because if you can name one single freedom that we've gained ever since we've gone into Afghanistan or Iraq you know I'll be happy to hear it but to be honest it seems like our freedoms have slowly diminished over time and the average American is paying now more economically and socially for their freedoms than they have in any point in history. That's my opinion. It's an opinion. And if you disagree with it, I'd love to hear your side of the story. So once again, post a comment. Otherwise, uh, maybe, yeah, I should just... Because I don't want to drag on this whole military thing too long. Obviously, I'm not being very useful to my team. Not concentrating about the game. So, um... I'm just going to kill people with my axe. And maybe I'm going to switch to... I'm gonna switch to bill hook because I don't really use the bill hook. But yeah, maybe you won't see another video for three months, and I'll come back after basic training all that. Like, you never know. And I just killed my own team. <laughs> That'd be bad in the military. Very bad. I'm joking about it, I shouldn't be. Oh! Oh, what? You thought I was gonna be an easy kill? Oh, yeah, I was an easy kill. <laughs> um, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, I have a new um, microphone. And I hope it's making this a lot more pleasant for you because my old mic oh, was just trash. It was just my, you know, 
regular gaming mic. I've just been a gamer all my life and uh, recently started this YouTube thing, so I just went out and got myself a new mic. And with the new mic, I also got one for Zazome too, so she can actually start doing YouTube videos with her perspective instead of just me. And that'll be um, interesting for you to watch because I know she's a lot prettier and hotter and everything -er than I am. And she's probably a lot more fun to watch than I am. I'm apparently an asshole. I make no qualms about it, so uh, yeah. And I just got like two holes. And I'm dead. You know, now I think about it, maybe I'll return to the subject, because I was really wondering, what is it like not being away from your loved ones for like a year, or two years, or however long you deploy for? And how do you deal with that? I mean, what's life like on the base? Are, are you always like, like, oorah with your guns and like standing there waiting for terrorists and shit? Or are you, is it just chill? Do you just like... Are you just there, and it's just like, there's like Wendy's and stuff, and there's like Walmart there, and then you pretty much have to just live there, and sometimes you see like enemies and stuff, but most of the time you don't, is it like that, or is it literally like, Band of Brothers like, like, I don't know man, I don't even know what to think, I don't even know if I'm making the right decision, or if I am making the decision, I would just love some information. As a lifelong gamer who has been a lifelong civilian, I've never even... Well, I have fired a gun, but I mean, I, I don't even own guns, so... Yet. So I, 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 like, I, my military background is basically zero. The most I know about the military is what I've learned from pay, playing freaking Medal of Honor and watching Band of Brothers. That's about it, to be honest. I don't know jack shit about it, and I would love Hey, maybe there's a maybe there's a gamer out there that has a YouTube channel that he went through the military camp and now he's a military gamer or something. Maybe you could share your perspective. That'd be cool, you know. I just want to know more, and I just want to hope that I'm not doing the wrong thing that'll hurt my fellow potential servicemen and hurt myself, but also hurt the institution. Because I don't want to hurt the military by being a shitty recruit. You know, I want to be a good recruit. I want to be the proper recruit. I want to be the people they're looking for, and I want to belong. The question is, do I belong? And I, I can't really answer that if I'm just searching online and I'm talking to people who want me to join. Um, it would just really be great if someone who served or who is serving, or maybe you're going to serve and you're you have many of the same struggles as me. I'd love to hear your opinions, too. Um, you'd obviously have different experiences, and you might learn some information that I don't, I don't come across. That would be awesome to know. So, you know, this is basically open to everyone. And speaking as a um, relative foreigner, I say I'm a foreigner, but I'm actually a citizen. I was born in America, but I, I didn't grow up in America. I moved here in 2006. So speaking as somewhat of a foreigner, I, I come from a place with basically zero military culture. Um, so any, even a layman, even a, a regular Joe's perspective on military career shit would be amazing for me. It would be very helpful and I would really appreciate it. So, if you do watch this video and you do decide to um, submit a response or to reply or to post a comment or anything, um, thank you. I appreciate it and um, even if your opinion doesn't agree with mine or even if you hate me or even if um, you don't think I should be in the service, I respect your opinion and I appreciate you giving your opinion. So, go ahead. I'm all ears. Really. I am. And trust me, I have some pretty thick skin, so this isn't going to be one of those channels where everyone pretends to be nice, or I'm going to ask you to, you know, be polite and stay off the foul language and keep things civil. If you 
want to be uncivilized towards me, if you want to call me out, if you want to curse at me, go right ahead. Uh, the only thing I ask on my channel is that you're honest with me. And if you if you honestly think that I'm a fucking douchebag, then just tell me I'm a fucking douchebag. I have absolutely no problem with it. You know, it actually disturbs me that nowadays people get offended over too many different things. People get offended if, you know, you're not the same religion or you use too many swear words. I'm like, dude, what age are you growing are you living in? And even if you weren't in this age, in future people are gonna use swear words, and swear words have always been used in the past. So what's the point of pretending to be all civilized now when in some instance of your life you're gonna cuss? Does it make a difference that you cuss behind closed doors versus in public? I don't think so. So this is one of those channels, guys. Go ahead. Just call us out. Seriously, just call us out. If you think we're shit, just tell us we're shit. I'll thank you for being honest. I've been told a lot worse. So yeah, um, maybe this will be the breakout video that gets me 100 views. Who knows? It'll be interesting. Wow, I just uh, smashed one of the guy, some guy there. I can't wait to hear the uh, sound of this video. From what I've been testing, it's been pretty good. I still don't know what's going on in the game because I literally just been swinging wildly. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna switch weapons again to spear. And 30 seconds for us to win. We got this. Do you play video games in the military? Like, do you get, like, computers in your base that you can just... Oh, you have free time now? Alright, let's go play some medieval. Can you do that? Or can you... Like, that'd be so cool. There's, like, a game room on the base. Ah, killed you all. Killed you too. Uh, what, you thought you could kill me, bitch? Huh? Hmm? Smart guy? Oh! Go to move, boy! Alright, YouTube, that's my um, video for today. I know it wasn't conventional, and I know I didn't really focus on the game, but... Um, have a good one!